Welcome to the last episode of the Grind for 40k series. In the last video, we finished the story of this game, at least for Nesper's Valley. Maybe it's not even done, I'm not really sure. But we did also manage to hit 40k, which means we are able to buy the UTV. So in this video, we're not grinding to buy the UTV. We're testing out the UTV. Also, I'd like to point out that in the last episode, we found this elephant in the basement. And also up here, there is a UTV with a Africa skin pattern, like a zebra skin pattern, which might be hinting at map DLC 2 being a Africa map, potentially. Anyway, I am going to keep it simple and buy this UTV. The red one, it's cool, but I think I'm just going to go with the hunter camo. Also, the safari one is cool as well. But again, this one's the most basic, and, you know, the camo is cool. So let's buy this thing for $39,999. And we did it, everyone. We bought the UTV. It took eight episodes of grinding to finally be able to purchase this thing. And let's test it out here. Here it is. We can now scroll to UTV. Let's call it in. It has medium speed, so it's slower than the Jeep. Faster acceleration, which the Jeep has slow acceleration. And also has better handling, since it's agile instead of average. So let's call it in. And here it is, guys. It does have storage in the back, so that's good. And it is looking pretty good. I like this thing. It looks very nice. So let's hop in and give it a test. It does also have the radio. And wow, this thing feels smooth to drive. It's got the lights as well. You can change camera. It's got a horn. And it does seem maybe a bit slower, maybe a bit faster. I'm not really able to tell. It says it should be slower, but it feels faster. I think maybe there's a bug with the game. But I can definitely feel the faster acceleration and also the, the better vehicle handling. So anyway, let's try and complete this objective of harvesting one of all those species. And it looks like we've just drove up on some deer here, mule deer, and apparently they didn't spook, so this thing must be quieter now as well. So let's shoot at this one star mature, just because it is absolutely horrible. <laughs> Boom, it's down. Let's drive over there and claim it. Yeah, I very much like this UTV. I am a big fan. It is fast, it is agile, and it is also very good at accelerating. So here we are, claiming this mule deer. We got a perfect heart shot. Let's sell this guy for like 250 and now we need four more animals to complete this welcome party barbecue thing. Alright guys, I've made my way over to this area right here. The swamplands. And... I am going to take a shot on one of these moose for this barbecue mission. 
So I'm thinking of maybe taking a female. Yeah, just because... Just because the male that's in this group is only a one star. So it's not really worth it to take, just in case it becomes good. Which maybe it will, maybe it won't. We can actually use this low fitness caller. And if it comes into this call, then we will take it out. But it doesn't seem like it's coming into, coming into the call. Alright, there's the other moose, and it is a one-star young. So yeah, we are going to have to take the shot on this female moose. Let's quickly load up before it gets away. And it's kind of moving away. Anyway, let's zoom in, and boom. That's pretty good. We'll get a follow-up. Just to bring it down faster. And here's our moose. Right over here. We hit it two times. Once in. Barely both lungs. And the second time. Was just a flesh shot. So yeah. We can sell this moose up for 200. Three more to go. And that's moose off the list. Now we just need a whitetail elk and bighorn sheep. Alright guys, I've spotted our next animal, which is a group of whitetail deer. So let's see how long it takes to drive over there in the UTV. This thing is very fast, so it should only take a second. And just like that, we've made our way over here. And I do think the UTV is a lot quieter because I think with the Jeep, they would have heard that and they would have ran away. But since the UTV, I think, is louder, or quieter, I mean, I think they're less likely to get away. So we are just going to call in one of these deer, white-tailed. Let's quickly swap to the white tail collar and also we'll swap weapons to the let's find it maybe we'll go with this one right here And now this doe is coming in to the call, so let's just pull out our rifle. And... Boom! Dead. So now let's drive over there. I have to say, I'm really liking the UTV. Even though it should be slower it says it should be slower it does feel a lot faster and it also is more agile and is better at accelerating and also seems quieter but i'm not sure if that's a hundred percent true but it feels like it so let's sell this white tail for 100 and now we just need an elk or a bighorn sheep all right guys I made my way over to the group of elk, and as you can see, I parked my UTV right there. That's where I got out. And these guys are only like a hundred something meters away, and they haven't spooked. They are alerted, but they haven't spooked. So it, it really does seem like the UTV is quieter. So yeah, that that is something that's pretty noticeable.
with the UTV. It seems a lot quieter. So anyway, let's take out a call here. And let's quickly wait for them to be calm. And then we will take the shot on one of these guys. So guys, I did end up trying to call in these elk quite a few times with the both calls actually the low fitness and the high fitness and it doesn't seem like any of them are coming into the call so don't know what's happening there maybe they're not low fitness but they're not high enough to be high fitness or they're not or they're just not coming into the call so we are just going to choose one of these guys to shoot and we're taking a risk here because maybe it'll be five star but that's the risk you have to take actually it okay never mind I was gonna say it does look like they're coming into the call but I think they're just walking this way anyway let's take out one of the less impressive ones like this one right here and three two one boom he should be down soon We'll put one more in him, and then we'll find where he is at. Alright, here he is. This actually took me a long time to track him down. And this is one of those artery shots. As you can see, the, um, the pink clear blood is artery. And once I shot this guy, it actually took me a very long time to find the blood trail. For some reason, I had to watch the footage back like three times to finally find it. And then when I had to track him, it also took a long time. So yeah, I don't know why, but I had a very difficult time tracking this guy down. And why is this not a intestine shot? I don't know. But anyway, it doesn't really matter. This was a 84% genetic buck, which means it it was going to become 5-star, which is unfortunate, but there's nothing I can do about it now. It would have taken a while anyway, and there's plenty of elk in the forest, you know. So let's just sell this thing for 400 bucks. And now let's just find a bighorn sheep. I have just made my way over to this little watering hole area. I just fast traveled over to this campsite and then I quickly popped over here. And it does seem like there is a four star mountain goat here, which is very good. We have to keep an eye on him, see if he becomes five star one day. But we also have a group of bighorn sheep here, so... Let's just pick out this two-star mature. Let's make sure we know which one he is. Alright. Let's grab out our gun. And he's this one right here. So, boom! He should go down. Let's just follow him. He is... Running up the hill, but he probably won't make it far. So let's go and grab him. And he's sitting right there, so let's uh, put one more on him just because. End his suffering. And now he's actually running away. Anyway, let's go grab him. So guys, here he is. I probably shouldn't have put a second one in him. Yeah, I shouldn't have. Because it just made him run farther, but... You know. I was just trying to end his suffering. Do a good deed. Probably if I hit him in the lungs, it would have killed him. But since I just hit him in the stomach, he did actually just get up and run. For a little bit, and then, you know, I found him dead. So let's sell this guy up for 300 and complete this barbecue mission. This will be the best party ever. So let's head back to the lodge.
And now let's run down to our mailbox and see what we've got. We got a brand new comic, so let's play this. This is no summer story. This is the story of prison fall. And the story of every friend you made. Bustin' Dustin, burly of stature, but soft of heart. Can somebody give me a hand? Felicia Yee, an artist of taxidermy who believes her art shouldn't be stigmatized. Ludovic Vukov, always educating American hunters on Slovak traditions. Matthias Ruiz, an author trying to find inspiration for his book. April Wigley, your childhood friend and a reputable veterinarian with courage and determination you can only aspire to. Hey, you coming to help or what? Hey, April. And finally, Noah and Timothy Whaley. One learned empathy when faced with the consequences of his actions. The other learned that chicken nuggets are made of actual chicken meat. Finally meet. Hmm. What, what's wrong? I will save the animals. They're already dead. Hmm. Wait, wait. I I have a gift for you. Finally, the moment came. Oh. <laughs> I to take my temperature, but she didn't have a thermometer. Do you want to see Hollywood? <laughs> How did you manage to... It's not important. Why did you hide it from me? I was ashamed. Ashamed of my mom? Ashamed of myself. I stopped talking to her, only for a few months. A few months before she left this world. Only because she was my daughter and I threw her away like a pile of guts. Oh. You don't have to be ashamed. It's, it's, it's okay now. Oh. It's, it's okay. I didn't know she'd be gone so soon. It's okay. I have news. I want to move here. Attention everyone. I have an announcement to make. Starting tomorrow, I'll be retiring from Bear Den Ranch. And my grandson will be taking over the business officially. <laughs> Thanks. The end. Wow, that was a great way to end the story off. Very cool. So in the end, we did manage to resolve all issues we had with Noah. We got to meet the people that we do missions for, these little private land area cabins, we do missions for them, and we got to meet them in that comic, we got to meet our grandpa, and overall, that was a great way to end off the story. Also, in the last video, I said that our mom might be a murderer, and she actually killed a real person, but I was just being an absolute idiot because... It turns out it, she was just talking about an elephant or I think a rhino. I'm not sure, but I know for a fact she did not kill someone. 
So don't worry, guys. Our mom is not a serial killer. She is just a poacher. So yeah. Um, anyway. Let's climb back up here. And now that we've completed the story, and we are now the owner of the business, let's... Okay, we don't have any more missions, like restaurant orders. I thought that maybe we would get some, since we are the new owner, but maybe it'll just take a little bit, and we'll start getting some more orders. I hope so, because if we don't get any more orders, then it's going to be very difficult to get the new skins for the UTV. But I'm pretty sure soon they're going to adjust the price of the UTV to make it less expensive, which is nice. But I did want to buy the UTV at full price before they changed the price, because the point of this series was to get 40k. So that's why I did buy it when it was 40k. Anyway, now that we've got the story done and we fixed everything in the end, we are going to go around and check up on some animals that may have become 5 star. So let's do it. So guys, I made my way over to the diamond drill area because in the diamond drill video that I made, I managed to find 3 4 star Matures two of them were whitetail and one of them was a mule deer So I was just about to go looking for them when I found a group of wolves and one of these wolves is Actually a four star mature. So let me just find it here. It's in here somewhere here It is that one right there is a four star mature So that's my first time seeing him. We'll have to keep an eye on him and since the only other Wolves in this group are one star youngs. We are going to leave this group alone. And let's go looking for one of those four star deer that may become a five star. Okay, I don't know how I didn't spot this group of deer immediately, like a second ago, because those are the wolves over there, and I was driving down to check up on those wolves. And then... There was a group of deer, and I jumped out of the UTV, and in this group of deer, there is two four-star mature mule deer, which is absolutely crazy, and I did not expect that. So yeah, two four-stars. There they are side by side. So I guess we got to add two more animals to the list of... of uh, Oh, that's a five star. That's a five star. Oh my god, that's a five star. Wait, what? How did I not see that guy? Oh, this is the four star. This is the other four star. So this herd has two four stars and a five star. No way. No way. That is crazy. Four star right there and four star over there and a five star wow i was gonna say we have to add two more animals to the list of uh guys that were gonna become five star and then we found a five star so let's quickly move to the side here and should we take this shot Let's wait. Let's wait a second, because we don't want to mess this up. We really right, don't. guys, I have found the five star again. What ended up happening is I spooked him right here at this same exact spot. And then he ran all the way over here. I think it was like right over here in this ditch. And then he went up this mountain. And then all the way over here into this area that isn't even the diamond drill. So yeah, it ended up taking a long time where I was just chasing him. And then eventually I just gave up and said I'm going to sleep and come back here later. And I did exactly that. And here he is in the same spot. Luckily, I was a bit worried that he would die and then we would lose him. But this is the same exact one 
there is the same exact two four stars in this herd that's one of them over there and that's one of them so yeah we are just gonna wait till this five star becomes broadside and then I will take the shot alright guys the five star mule deer is now broadside so let's quickly take this shot and pray that we do not mess this up let's aim in and boom he should be going down there he is let's just watch him here for a second and we'll place a marker over there and now we'll drive over to him in our UTV and we'll claim my first five-star mule deer here he is guys I drove right past him but then I backed up and I found him hiding behind this tree and he is looking great he is got quite the rack on him so let's claim him it was you know perfect double lung and he has 92.41% genetics so not the best but still good for my first one a score of 471.9 so again not the best but still very good I'll take it and before we before we taxidermy this guy we are going to take a thumbnail shot Let's just back our UTV up. He is kind of behind a uh, behind a tree, so it's it's kind of annoying. Oh, what what the hell just happened to him? Oh, this is a good way to. Oh, I can move him. Look at that! I can run him over to move him. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm like absolutely flattering this guy. Anyway, I'm going to move him into the perfect position, and then we're going to take the sh screenshot. And boom, screenshot taken. I managed to run this guy over like a thousand times to get him over here onto the road, and then I parked the UTV behind him, and I stood right here with my gun, and there we go. Now we have the thumbnail for this video. And now let's just taxidermy this guy up. So let's do that. And now we've gotten our first five star mule deer. And let's see if we can find any more five stars. Okay guys, this is very unexpected. So basically I fast traveled over to this cabin. And then I drove over to this area right here. And I was going to go look for a mule deer, which is over there somewhere and it might be a five star when I found a group of moose and in this group of moose there is a five star mature and that is just very unexpected because I did know that there was three star matures in this area and two star matures but I haven't even seen a four star mature so to randomly show up here and find a five star is absolutely crazy there he is right there he must have grown up so fast. So let's wait for a minute here and then we'll take the shot. I already do have one five star moose, but I will take another one. So let's grab out the SM12. And let's stand up. And now let's take this shot. Boom! He's down on the spot. Let's go over there and recover him. Here we go. Let's take our second thumbnail photo. And boom! And now we can claim our five star moose. Did not expect to see this guy, and he is 99.43% genetic, so that is very good, with a score of 464. So, with those genetics, he probably could have hit 
500 score, so we probably should have left him for a bit longer, but that's all right. We can taxidermy him. And let's see here. So with a score of 464, he just was barely above 5 star. So, yeah, that makes sense because I didn't expect him to be fully grown yet because, you know, he was a 3 star adult the last time I checked in on him. So he just barely became 5 star. And anyway, very cool to get my second two my second five star moose and now I'm gonna go over to the area with the mule deer and see if we have a second five star mule deer alright guys I'm at the mule deer right here and the one I was checking on to see if it was five star it's actually still a four star mature so we are going to move on to the next animal here so guys, I did end up searching around for quite a little bit, and all I found was 3 star adults that had become 4 stars, or 4 stars that I found previously that had either died or are still 4 stars, so I didn't end up finding any more 5 stars, but we did in this video get 2 5 stars, the 5 star mule deer, which is looking very nice, and my second five star moose here he is right here he's a bit less impressive than my other one that I got off camera and that's only because we harvested him very early into his five star phase he had 99 percent genetics so if we left him for longer he could have had a score of like maybe 500 anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video where we bought and used the UTV and we managed to find two five-star matures. I will see you in the next video, which will be a new series because we're ending the Grind 40k series off here. Anyway, goodbye everyone. I'll see you in the next series.